Here I am at Herat Oriental in Alexandria, Virginia. You know, it's just a wonderful place to come on in and see rugs because we can see antique pieces, we can see new pieces, we can see just a wide range of things. Of course, I'm standing on top of a five and a half or six foot tall pile of carpets in a warehouse shooting down in one of the few clear areas because this place gets tremendously crowded. Today, um, this is, this is um, an extremely good quality. It's not quite top of the line. Uh, this would represent the second quality. Um, but from the very best manufacturer in Afghanistan today, the best, the best coming out of Afghanistan um, is the Alexander House, um, and the Alexander House collection represents just a really nice rugs. It's a transitional design. It borrows from the old. It puts it together in the more modern, um, uh, more modern design, and it comes up with something that's going to work in most homes today. Something like this just becomes very graceful. We're taking, we're taking old designs, interpreting them in a slightly new way. It's not the modern. You know, the modern was hot a few years ago, and it's just not, not, there, uh, not there today. We still see a clear delineation between the borders, the field, but we see a common, a common tonality, which is very attractive for most buyers today. And so when you're looking for rugs, most of these rugs are just sold as an Afghan vegetable dye. Uh, when you get a chance to see an Alexander House rug, you can see that they're just a little bit, little bit better. The construction's a little bit better. The dyes are really good. The way they're put together, the way they lay flat, the way they hold up, the way they're using the, the native Afghan wool that's got a great deal more durability than what we're seeing. Um, a rug that looks almost exactly like this coming out of India or Pakistan today, put on a rug, put on a floor, in the, in the same house as this rug, has probably got half to two-thirds of the life of a rug like this. What this means is that this is the kind of rug that's going to hold up and is going to be something that you can pass down. You know, so often we hear, I got this rug from my grandparents. Well, someday your children may take a rug like this, still in very nice serviceable condition holding up well and they'll say this is something I got from my grandparents. Lighting looks like light blue. I'm not mm -hmm. sure. Trying to describe a rug like this becomes challenging because there's a light end and a dark end. Down at this end when we take a look at it the, the background carries more of the blue tones. It's a light blue. When we go up to this end it becomes just slightly more greenish. You know one of the things in, in Afghanistan, they're, um, they're, they're, they're dying golden tan wool, light, light, very light golden tan wool. It's not pure white. So when the, the dye is applied, the blue picks up the hint of yellow from the gold and picks up a slight green cast to it, making it extremely attractive. One of the things doing it this way, it, it's very color fast, very durable. Something like this is going to hold up well and not change tremendously. Um, becomes a very attractive rug.